Secretary Handel, we, we touched on this a bit earlier, um, and I want to uh, come back and understand uh, your track record a little bit better. When you took the job at the Susan G. Komen Foundation, uh, an organization committed to the fight against breast cancer, uh, and you knew that Planned Parenthood breast cancer screenings were a key partnership for that foundation, uh, as I understand it, you nevertheless went in and you led an effort to defund life-saving breast cancer screenings at Planned Parenthood. And as has been reported, uh, this cost the Komen Foundation tens of millions of dollars or more in lost revenues after you resigned amidst the scandal uh, because folks had lost faith in the organization while you were leading it. I suppose my question is, and, and again the question so many voters in the 6th District have is, if you were committed to going in and defunding breast cancer screenings at Planned Parenthood, why did you take the job in the first place? First of all, John, I was one of hundreds of employees at the Komen Foundation. Secondly, I was tasked by the CEO and chairman of the board to develop options for how the organization could disengage from Planned Parenthood. Why? Because the grants were not effective. And it has been debunked over and over again. And it doesn't matter how many times you say it. It does not make it true. Planned Parenthood does not do mammograms, period, end of paragraph. And when it comes to women's health, I have worked on this issue for virtually my entire career. Working in the White House under Marilyn Quayle, coordinating breast cancer awareness activities to help get Breast Cancer Awareness Month established in the month of October, to help at Komen preserve and protect the funding at the state level and the federal level for that critical breast and cervical cancer uh, screening initiative. So I'm going to be, and far better than someone like my opponent, I'm going to be the front line of fighting for women because I have been there and I have held the hands of women who have been fighting for their lives with breast cancer and other cancer. I am not going to be lectured by you, John. Ms. Handel, your opportunity for a question from Mr. Thank Austin. you. Thank you. So, John, I guess what I would like to know is exactly who are you going to vote for in this election? Is that the question? Okay. Uh, well, I think Secretary Handel is referring to my residence, uh, which is a matter that I've addressed transparently uh, throughout this campaign. Uh, I grew up in the 6th Congressional District. Uh, I was born and raised in Georgia, unlike Secretary Handel, who was born and raised in Washington, D.C. Uh, I live across from Emory University to support my fiancé while she finishes medical school. I'm proud to be supporting her career, even if I take a little bit of political heat for it. Uh, Secretary Handel, uh, born and raised in Washington, D.C., seems to have spent much of her career determined to return. Uh, and it's typical of a career politician, I think, to focus on something like this rather than the matters of concern to the people of the 6th District. How are we going to attract more jobs and investment to this community? How are we going to make sure that young people who are getting educations for the jobs of the future in our tech sector uh, are, are, are able to succeed and apply their talents here at home? These are the questions of concern to the voters of the 6th District. Actually, it is of concern to the people of the 6th District that you do not live in our community. And while I was born in Washington, D.C., I didn't get to pick where I was born. But the fact is, I've been in Georgia for almost as long as you've even been alive. You might live just five minutes outside of the district, but your values are nearly 3,000 miles away in San Francisco. And that's why. So many of your contributions have come from liberals of California, New York, and Massachusetts. It's why you're supported by Nancy Pelosi. And folks, it matters. It's no wonder that my opponent didn't want to do the Atlanta Press Club debate. It was going to be aired on CNN, where all folks from around the country, all of his liberal supporters were going to see it, and the fake John Ossoff was going to collide with the real John Ossoff, who is a Nancy Pelosi-backed liberal.